Grace and peace unto you this afternoon. I just say God bless you. I want to let you know this morning, you are blessed from the beginning. It is his will. Father, we thank you for this broadcast. We thank you that you're all knowing on today. We thank you, God, that you said you are searching the heart of every believer. First Samuel says, man looks on the outward appearance, but God searches the heart. We thank you, God, that you have tried our hearts with the reign of love and life. And God, you're trying our hearts to see where we're founded. And we thank you, God, that you're pulling on the heart strain to pull us back to you. Get us back into a place of breakthrough, a place of love, a place of fellowship where the enemy came and obstructed us. But God, you're all knowing, you're all, you're, oh my God, you see all, you know all, you're all powerful. When we're weak, thou art mighty. And we're going to praise you, Father God. Let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Stir on the gift of God that's within us, Father. We decree the blessings of the, of the Lord. Make it rich and out of no sorrow. We are blessed from the beginning. And now, God, we're going to thank you. And we're going to praise you as we lose the anointed of God, the power of the anointed one, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. This morning, I, I mean, this afternoon, I want to come before you with Psalms 1. I believe this is 113. Yes, Psalms 113, 14, and 15. And, you know, I want to say to you, you are blessed. It is his intent that you be blessed from the beginning. And it reads, God himself will fill you with more blessings upon blessings and will be heaped upon you and upon your children from the maker of heaven and earth, the very God who made you. Psalms 113 verses 14 and 15. As I said before, it was God's plan uh, for from the beginning of time that we were be blessed and, and that he wanted us to increase in every good thing in Genesis chapter 128, he blessed mankind with the power to increase and to multiply. Many of you know the story of Adam, how God gave Adam dominion. Oh my God, isn't that amazing if you wake up and God give you dominion over the city? You wouldn't even know how to act. Well, you know, that's what happened. <laughs> so he blessed mankind to have that authority to increase, to multiply. From that time on throughout the scripture, we find out the promises after promises regarding to his desire to see his people increase. We discover in the book of Mark chapter four uh, that we now in the word, we will increase like 30, 60 and 100 fold. In Deuteronomy, it was one in 11, uh -huh. Deuteronomy chapter one, verse 11, we are promised that Proclaims we can increase 1,000. See, God is constantly adding. So guess what? We can seriously imagine yourself increasing at least double in everything that you possess. Think about it. What, what do you have right now? And just think about it. If you got, say, $100, just to know you go to the bank and you got 200 or 2,000, don't you know you will be like, oh my God, God is good. Am I right? So it's his will from the beginning that we increase, but man always get out of place with God and lose his authority. But if we will stop and assess ourselves where we are at right now and say, God, what is it uh, that I've done or what I'm doing that's stopping my flow? Amen. God will show you what it is. I began to read. Uh, revelations and because of me studying the churches and studying revelation god uh, caused me to take inventory on my evangelistic life and he told me to go back and do your first works over oh my god i thought i was doing something wasn't doing a thing nobody being saved in this season no only coming to the altar just to return back to their seat but when i began to search out well, God is saying, I can see the hand of God as I repent and say, God, I'm sorry that I let the fires go out. But as you 
take inventory yourself. Don't look at other people. Don't look at nobody else's uh, life, their ministry. You look at your own life and you take inventory. Because when you leave this earth, you're going to stand before God for yourself. Not for your husband, your wife, not for your children, not for your bad friend or your cousin, but for yourself. Today, know that it is God's will from the beginning that you increase. Go back and search yourself and say, God, what have I failed to? Or what is it that I'm putting before you? What is it that my uh, vision became obscure? God will reveal it to you. I want to say to you that if you start sowing your seeds, I'm telling you, you will increase. I promise you this. The Bible says, give and it shall be given. I don't know what you've sown, but sow whatever you want from God. Then be faithful in your stewardship. Matthew 23 uh, and 23. Be faithful. Yes. Be, we, we are stewards over our finances, our gifts. Yes. The ministry God called you to do and material possession. That's right. If you got a car and you always let it get so filthy, you're not honoring that blessing. Get somewhere and clean that car. If you don't have the money to pull up and get it clean, you do it yourself. But just show God that you mean business. Amen. And then we have expectations. We are expected to increase. If you don't expect to increase, you've been doing the same thing and no change. Something is wrong. It's like the talents. Don't bury it in the ground. Get it out. Plan it over. Start over. And let's move forward for the increase. So God bless you. Uh, this is my stead today. This is what God has given me for you today. And I hope that after hearing this, know that you were blessed from the beginning, but somewhere you lost track. Somewhere you fell off and you didn't get back on your bandwagon to do well. Amen. But God wants to give you double, double strength, double joy, double peace, and double understanding of the word of God. So let's grab hold to what the Lord has for us and what he wants and desires for his people. For God is good and I find no thought in God. It's all in us. Remember, from the beginning, we were blessed. God desired for us to have double, triple, hundredfold, thousandfold. So we know God is a multiplication God a God of increase. We thank you, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I hope someone under the sound of my voice will get this message and will begin to operate in obedience so that they can humble themselves that in due season you will exalt them. So God, I thank you right now. You have given me revelation over where I had let my vision get obscure or we would consider dim. I thank you, God, you're doing a new thing in the earth a thing of miracle signs and wonders. Father, I'm not trying to emulate not one other soul, but I am trying to pour out what you are pouring into me, the Teresa Moten vision, the things God gave me and not others. So God, I thank you that every one of us is going to give an account of deeds done in his body, whether they be good or evil. But I today repent of anything in Jesus' name. And I hope that I'm blessing your people, God. I hope somebody can hear my voice and say, I want to repent if I did something wrong. And I hope somebody will say, what must I do to get back in place with God? Right now, Father, I ask that you receive this person who's lifting their hands that say, God, it's me standing in the need of prayer. And Father, I ask that you restore them back into fellowship and bless them with a thousandfold blessing. In Jesus' mighty name, this prayer is covered by the blood. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you until we meet again. And remember, you were blessed from the beginning.